Hello friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And the time is now, it's here. We've been waiting patiently. Uh, we haven't been shooting lots of videos because we have a new product in the reflection, a new body style, new design that we are fired up for. And I gotta tell you folks that we are just so excited. Again, we've been waiting patiently uh, for the new arrival of the new body style. I'm gonna call it the 2020.5. Grand Design has really done a phenomenal job with the all new exterior, all new interior, and all of the great feature content that they've added and done some tweaks to that really helps modernize the, uh, the reflection lineup. And uh, my buddy Mike at the factory, his team, the product managers, everybody has done just such a phenomenal job uh, with the all new reflection. And again, folks, this is where Grand Design shines. Um, this trailer just arrived. It has not been through our shop. It has not been through our reconditioning department. It's made a 2,000 mile journey to our dealership here in Alberta. And uh, you're just gonna see where really Grand Design shines and their fit and finish and quality uh, and all of those things. I'm not necessarily gonna dive into all of the Grand Design build and all of those things like I do in the other video, but gonna really focus in on a lot of the changes that they've done. And the major change that you'll see on the outside is the new exterior. They've gone back to a white uh, exterior wall. Um, they've added, you know, some gunmetal gray, some silver, um, new edgier front uh, reflection logo that really pops on the fully painted front cap uh, with the reflection line. And uh, you'll see that uh, this trailer's just got such a nice, beautiful look. Doesn't matter what color of truck you'll have, it'll match absolutely beautifully. Uh, but again, on this, this is a 311 BHS. Uh, they've been building this floor plan for a few years now and uh, it just does exceptionally well if you're looking for a trailer that's you know 37 feet in length quad slide you want a rear bunk room with a secondary bathroom uh, this one may be right for you so just coming down the entry side of the trailer here folks a exterior uh, outdoor kitchen they've got the new solaire awnings on it with the uh, lower led light strip on the lower part of where the fabric meets the awning uh, or sorry, the uh, fabric meets the wall, it drops down. What's nice about that is it actually pulls the light a little further down. So when the awning is fully retracted, the light brightens up the exterior of the trailer just a little bit more. And you do have that on both your, both your awnings, fully adjustable uh, as well. So again, all new exterior on the Grand Design Reflection in the uh, 311. Yeah, my buddy calling you out, run away, Colin, run away. You're on the video, pal. Here you go, come on down. Best guy going. So. Uh, anyway, full front cap, fully painted on the reflection, got all the LED lights going, full pass-through storage. Again, Grand Design, this is where they shine, folks. The fit and finish, the quality, more aluminum tubes, thicker gauge, taller, fully heated compartment, all of those things. Uh, one thing they added to this trailer, 12-volt heat blankets on all of your tanks, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, your dumping port here, they've added an LED light. So you've got that. They added that on the older body style um, trailers as well, the 2020s, but uh, this one, the 2020.5 has it as well. Makes uh, dumping your tanks at night a little bit nicer. Fully enclosed heated underbelly, R30 insulation underneath. So really nice setup. We're just gonna come down the side here. It's gonna be a little bit quicker video. I know I talk lots. I apologize for that. If you wanna get inside the trailer, which it has a totally new interior as well, just hit that little red uh, circle at the bottom of your screen and just fast forward. So again, coming down the back side of the trailer, all pre-prepped for uh, rear vision camera. Uh, Furion has a whole new camera system as well. I encourage you to check it out. It's doing some really cool things with it. Uh, you do still get the two inch receiver. It's a 3000 pound hitch with flat four wiring. So if you wanna pull a boat or a quad trailer behind or anything like that, you could definitely do it. The exterior kitchen, we'll zoom in. New cabinet style, shaker style doors. We'll talk a little bit more about it inside, but very modern uh, design and look. One thing they added to the outdoor kitchen here, You've got the 12 volt hookup and USB connections. They've added that for the 2020.5, we'll call it. 
range top pulls out again what's real nice about this outdoor kitchen is it actually acts as a canopy uh, above so you got awning that goes down the whole length of this trailer which is fantastic on the reflection uh, some of the trailers have a four point auto level this one's long enough that they add the uh, the, the six point auto level as well so here is again your uh, pass-through storage compartment up front so real nice they added a little doggy hook as well so if you got some puppies and you want to tether them up you can hook them up to that and uh, prevent them from run running away so triple entry step we're going to jump up inside this trailer now into the kitchen so they've done a great job with uh, you know i was a little apprehensive when i first started looking at some of the pictures about how dark the cabinets were because that was one of the comments from the original reflection was you know it's really dark on the inside uh, and this is still a darker cabinet however they've done a phenomenal job with offsetting the um, the darker cabinets with lighter uh, upholstery lighter countertops uh, lighter wallboard there's just so many things going on with this trailer to really help lighten it up and one of the things that i noticed right away when i first walked into it was just how open it felt you know same floor plan but it just feels that much more open um, the new tile backsplash here at your entryway you know really nice design okay grand design a lot of times when you look at the they call it shaker style cabinets when you go to a flat panel style door in the industry what will happen is when you start opening and closing this door the doors the cabinet doors inside we get a lot of comments from our customers that you know they just don't feel solid it just doesn't feel like very good quality and that was one of the things that people really like about the grand design is that when you open and close cupboard doors and entrance doors and those types of things it feels solid and you still get that with this product because they're very cognizant of coming to the marketplace still with very solid, not cheapening out the trailer, but still giving you that modern edgy de design. This is a reversed raised panel cabinet door. So you've got a flat panel door here. Okay, real modern, nice lines, edges, super nice, solid pulls. Um, you know, hidden hinges. You don't see the hinges on the back side of the doors as well, but it's a reverse panel door if you can see this actually this panel is is reversed so it actually comes out and what that does is it really helps give you a really nice solid very good quality solid feeling door which grand design is known for folks a lot of the manufacturers again i like to do those comparisons that you know they'll go to a flat panel door but they're not thinking of the quality in the build they're just going for the look and Grand Design is all about having things that stand up, that stand the test of time. This is a solid wood door as well. It doesn't have a paper finish that's wrapped around it like a lot of the uh, more flat style panel cabinet doors have in the industry. So uh, one of the other things they added, like I mentioned, were the tank heaters, 12 volt heat blankets. They've given you an additional switch here on your convenience center right at your front, front door. That's a thermostatically controlled heat blanket so once the temperature drops outside to you know 42 degrees fahrenheit or below then those heat blankets come on so you can literally leave that switch on if you're doing summer style camping um, you know that that blanket isn't going to be on heating up your water when it's unnecessary you still get the uh, individually ducted uh, heat ducts going to each of your tanks with the tanks fully enveloped but they've also gone that extra step with the heat blankets which is fantastic especially for us Canadians and how we like to use the trailers up here in Canada we also option in folks the uh, thermal uh, insulated window it's a dual pane window and uh, that can really help prevent the frostiness you know if you get frost building up on your windows that happens to the single panes having a dual pane window it really reduces those chances plus it keeps it quieter inside the trailer if you're in a noisier area at a music festival sleeping at night it's going to help prevent that noise transferring inside the trailer nearly as much you got kids sleeping in the back those types of things it's going to help keep the trailer quieter and uh, just cooler uh, in the in the summertime as well new freestanding dinette i am i was a li again a little apprehensive when i first saw some of the pictures but i really like this folks um, they've done a fantastic job challenging uh, what a typical freestanding dinette looks like um, they've gone to a, a, a higher grade fabric uh, on your seat cushions 
you know these do lift up which is really nice you do get storage underneath you still get the drawer here on the front that is the strap that you can strap these two chairs down with uh, but what's really neat is that you have this bench seat now they wanted to keep it making it look like it's a piece of furniture We'll give you a shot. It's got some really nice wood legs on it. There's storage underneath of it. The back cushion is actually mounted to the wall. Um, and so you can move this. This is an ottoman. You can literally move this out. And this is how all the freestanding dinettes are gonna come now. And what's neat about this is if you're in a trailer that has a tri-fold couch at the back, you can pull that ottoman out and put it in front of your couch move one of the other chairs around to the other side, remove this back cushion, and you've got a two-seater dinette. The flexibility that you have with this dinette is absolutely fantastic. But check this out. You get full storage underneath. So you can put some throw blankets, you can do all sorts of things. Throw your pots and pans under there if you want. Uh, a lot of flexibility with this, with this dinette and the way it uh, slides in here, just like so. So really good job. I really like what they've done coming out with it. New style countertops again, lighter countertops, really nice design. So you'll see it all around, not giving up on the quality, coming out with a, with a, with a really nice new edgy design, which is really cool. Still get the beautiful pantry in the uh, reflection here. Top to bottom, known for their build. Um, it's a two style, so the passage doors you'll find um, are double sided. So you see the finish that they've done on the interior of the door and on the exterior of the door. And when we go up to the front there, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Wide angle fireplace, television above with your DVD player in behind, lots of cabinets, lots of shelves, all screwed together. But I'll just take a stand back and give you a pan pan look here so you can really see the style of what they're going for here definitely lighter interior more spacious more open feeling but still giving you that really rich look uh, that the reflection is known for without taking away uh, your Thomas Paine uh, theater seating as well again folks has the heat the massage and fully reclines as well, which is uh, real nice. It's got a nice blue light if you're plugged into 110 service, will work as well. We'll show you the MCD blinds. They had this last year as well. So those really darken the interior of the trailer. Real nice uh, setup. You don't have to worry about those strings on your day nightshade stretching anymore, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, jump into the back bunk room here on the 311. I noticed it right away when I walked in. They used to have a ladder right here that folded out. And this is super smart. So what they did was they reinforced, they added the shelving in behind, but they've turned the shelving into the ladder and completely reinforced it. So you've got these steel caps that are mounted to the edge of the counter or to the, to the shelving here. So this becomes the ladder and then they've reinforced it here as well. So this becomes the handle to climb up and I'm really pulling on this. It is super solid. They've also added thicker bunk mattresses. You've gone to a four inch bunk cushion, which is really nice, a lot more comfortable, especially with the kids getting a little bit bigger and heavier and those types of things. Uh, the drawers have gotten a little bit bigger as well. It seems like in the product. Also, you've got three drawers that go down this size. Uh, cabinet here as well. So they give you the hanger rod and then you've got the uh, removable shelf here as well, which is really cool. Got to do a slight adjustment on that, but that's okay. USB connection here also for all the devices. And then you've got your uh, back couch here, tri-fold couch, which makes into a, a fair size, decent push and queen size bed size, but also no more finger pull latch. They used to have a latch up here that this upper bed would clip into uh, on both sides. And if you're a shorter person, your arms weren't long enough, it was difficult to pull it down. So what they've done now is added a gas strut here. You just simply reach up and pull down, exposes your window. And again, that thicker four inch uh, cushion, which is really nice. So add the light fantastic layout. I've got three kids myself and this would be perfect for us. So again, your uh, rear bathroom all the way up to the roof, lots of headroom, counter space, storage, porcelain foot flush toilet. You know, Grand Designs, they're adding light switches everywhere, more plugins than most manufacturers. Um, 
more lights, all of those things. So coming out of the bunk room here, folks. Um, yeah, another pan shot here just to give you another view. No heat ducts in their floors. I talk about that on all the other videos. It's a one piece floor in this product. There are no seams. So as you own your trailer, as the years go by, you know, having that one piece floor with no, no seams whatsoever will really help, you know, reduce the chances of squeaking and those types of things developing. A lot of manufacturers using four by eight sheets of plywood. Over time, that butt joint, you start to develop that squeak, having that heat duct in the floor very um, you know, inefficient way of heating your tanks. They fill up with ro you know, dirt and debris. They put a lot of times plastic or even metal um, vents in that you know, can cut your foot open or they break if you step on them by accident. You know, those types of things, Grand Design since their inception, no heat ducts in their floor. You still get the 35,000 BTU furnace in this trailer as well. And again, paired with the industry leading R values in this segment with that R40 through the roof, down your front cap, you have an R9 in your sidewall, R30 right through your floor, uh, considering all the insulation and all of those things, fully enclosed underbelly with heated gate valves, furnace heat, 12 volt heat blankets, all new. So really excited to be able to show this off to you. First one, we got more coming and more exciting news. So we're going to spin around. Oh, again, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to shoot, shoot off right away. Sometimes bounce around. Um, Rain sensor max fan uh, in your kitchen. They've been doing that they, for a long time, many years now. A lot of manufacturers will cut that, that out, and that's a real nice feature to have. You know, little things like this that they add, grab handle right here on the sidewall. You know, these screws, when they go into the wall, they actually laminate a sheet of steel in there in the sidewall, so that steel screw bites into something solid. They're not just going into a Luon and foam. So that, that, that handle's gonna be there for a long, long time. There's the remote for your max fan, furnace, air conditioning, all of those things. Easy step. Coming up again, the, the entrance door, like I said, it's a double uh, finished, double sided finished passage door so you can see how they've got the detail on that it's not just a cheaper flat panel door it's a nice heavy door real solid and then they finish it off on the other side as well so it's got a really nice look to it which is super cool motion sensor lighting inside we're going to jump up into the bedroom first and then circle back around on the uh, the bathroom but again you can see the bedroom folks super open very residential feel you got the nightstands on either side of your bed you can let your arm hang off you have dual plugs a 110 plug there and one over here and then up top here you have a usb connection with that shelf so you can both plug in your cell phones charge them at night use it as an alarm clock residential size bed 60 wide by 80 long real nice super shiny real nice look uh, comforter pillows they've added uh, as well as you got a real nice headboard here uh, padded headboard with a real nice you know nice look feel to it you know i kind of look at it as this is kind of like a, a high-end hotel finish that they're doing uh in their in their uh in their trailer the new redesign on it um, the wardrobe slide on this particular product folks they've added a drawer so this is some of the other changes they've done um, drawers again it feels like they've gotten a little bit bigger so this setup has always been with two drawers but they added a drawer underneath this wardrobe here so you got four drawers in your wardrobe slide which is really nice you got the hanger uh here for you know wardrobe they've instead of a bar they've added this neat little hanger thing and i think they've done this just to prevent those hangers from popping off uh, it just seems a little more a little nicer it seems like you can fit a bit more on there uh, nice nice setup there as well and then for your uh, they used to do here in your in your bathroom um, your linen cupboard but what they've done they've added they've done a, a removable shelf here and so if you wanted to have the dual wardrobe and not put towels and toiletries and some other things in here you can have the dual wardrobe so a lot of flexibility giving you choices which is really nice of what ground design does and then your bathroom will just stand back here and give you a good little shot here corner shower transition to get in and out of the showers real nice and then you've got your your bathroom lots of counter space here you get the cupboard underneath extra shelving and then you get a real real vanity get you the toilet paper rolls and all those sorts of things uh, up inside there where we can mount where you want them so uh, ac duct in your bathroom here folks so they've nailed it they've absolutely nailed it 
on the new redesign. I'm calling it the 2020.5 Grand Design. Might not like that, but hey, that's the way it goes. And uh, beautiful job. Hats off to the team at Grand Design on the, uh, on the redo here. So my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager. I shoot the videos here at the dealership. Love for you to come by our store. Check out the all new Grand Design reflection interior exterior. Love to take you through it and uh, show you all the benefits of buying local here in Alberta from a small dealership. We are exclusively Grand Design here and uh, we love the product. We love the service that they provide and uh, the products that they build. So our address, if you're coming on down, we are 8012 Sparrow Crescent in Leduc. Uh, we're just on the other side of the airport and our phone number is 780-986-1234. Again, my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for checking out the product. We got a ton of other videos. If you want to learn about how they're built and all those things I know I ha haven't covered, I could create an hour long video on this if you want, but I know not everybody wants to go through an hour. So love for you to come by, check us out. Thanks for your time and uh, happy camping.